right, so this is going to be my review for The Driver from 1978. I've wanted to watch this movie for quite a while uh, for multiple reasons, but then something just kind of re, uh, reignited my interest to watch it. I had just watched and I reviewed uh, Edgar Wright's film Baby Driver, and this movie, The Driver, is a huge influence on that, as well as Nicholas Winding Refn's Drive which I'm a big fan of, uh, with, you know, Ryan Gosling as a driver. And this movie is very, very influential on that film as well, for obvious reasons, if you see them. So this movie is really important for, you know, some of these later movies that came out. As so well, having just seen Baby Driver, I wanted to watch this. It's kind of a, the original a little bit, and influ influencing these other directors and their movies. So... Other than that, um, it's also written and directed by Walter Hill, who I really like. He's a really well-known director from the you know, late 70s, 80s. He uh, wrote and directed The Warriors right after this, which is a movie I love. And then he did uh, like uh, the 48-hour movies later with Eddie Murphy um, and Nick Nolte. He's, and he's produced like all of the Alien movies, so he's a pretty big name. This is actually his second movie that he's done um, right before he did... Uh, the Warriors the year after. So he wrote and directed this, and the story revolves around um, Ryan O'Neill's character. He's called the driver. Nobody actually has names in the movie, which is pretty interesting. And that's what he does. He's a driver. He's a getaway driver for people doing robberies or some sort of criminal activities. And, and so he gets the interest peaked of a detective. Uh, the detective is played by Bruce Dern, pretty well, pretty well known actor. And so this detective kind of makes it his mission to find the driver. And he, what he wants to do is set him up to be busted. Uh, he thinks he knows who he is. He kind of comes to him a bunch of times, but just doesn't really have any evidence. And so the detective, he ends up kind of getting these, um, a couple of criminals who had been caught doing uh, kind of a robbery, like a gas station robbery. And he convinces them, those criminals, to hire the driver and then so that's what the detective's plan is to have them hire the driver, pull off a bank robbery, and then he's going to bust them and like make his name and finally get the driver into custody. But things don't go to plan as well as the detective had hoped. Uh, the criminals are criminals and they're going to do some shady stuff. So that's kind of the basic plot. Um, I have not seen too many movies with Ryan O'Neill. Uh, there's a lot that I, I do need to see. He was in, like, um, Barry Lyndon. I think he's the lead in that, which is a Stanley Kubrick film, which I really want to see. And he's in, like, I think Paper Moon. He's in that with his daughter, Tatum O'Neill. Uh, supposed to be a pretty pretty big name actor at the, at the time, too. Um, well, maybe. But, anyways, he does a good job. I really liked him as a driver. He's kind of that very um, no-talking, cool, calm, collected kind of criminal knows what he's doing, knows his job, um, and is very quiet about it. Uh, and the detective, I wasn't the biggest fan of Bruce Dern's portrayal here. I don't think he's as intimidating as he's supposed to be. I think that's just maybe Bruce Dern just doesn't come off as scary or intimidating. And then overall, I think his, uh, his plan is just kind of weird. <laughs> you know, he's doing things pretty illegally, and he has these two other detectives with him, but you never see him like in a police station or uh, they're kind of rolling around in a van, like a surveillance van, and it's kind of interesting, kind of weird. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but yeah, he, he just seems kind of... I don't know if incompetence the correct word, but just what he's doing just doesn't seem very... It's not professional. It's not the correct thing to do. Obviously, even if the other cops know that he's not... He shouldn't be doing this, really. Uh because he's putting a lot of people at risk, and it ends up not working out exactly the way they want it to, so I don't know. You need him in there. You definitely need this detective to kind of propel the story along, especially at certain points, but there are also big chunks of the movie where he is not in the not in the plot. It's not really seen, and the movie doesn't you know lack because of that. There's very long stretches where he's missing, and that's just the criminals kind of doing their thing, and it, it works pretty well on their own. So, I don't know. I wasn't the biggest fan of that character in particular. 
but I did like the driver. Uh, I like there's these other criminals that are involved that are supposed to be hiring him, and there's this great scene. It's in the um, a parking garage, and it's one of the first times that they meet, and they're gonna try to hire him, and you know right away that the driver just thinks that there's something that's not right, and so he, he's gonna show him like how well he can drive, and he's just, just tearing shit up in this parking garage, just peeling around, just whipping around, like drifting all over the place, and just doing some amazing stuff, and then he just starts destroying the car. And just starts messing it up like it's just his way of really telling these guys like I, I'm on to you I know like what's happening I know this isn't this isn't all straight this isn't square there's something fishy about this um, but it's a great great scene it, it really sets up what's gonna be happening with him and these criminals later so it was really good I like that scene it was awesome um, so yeah those are like kind of the two things that I really liked I liked the movie overall it was really good it was, Quite a bit better than I thought it was going to be. Um, and then just kind of there's like a lot of comparisons. So I already mentioned like Drive and Baby Driver. Baby Driver basically is just kind of the idea of like this getaway driver for criminals. And it kind of starts and ends there a little bit. There's a lot more, I think, connections with Drive. And like the opening scene of this movie and Drive are, they're not identical, but they're very, very similar. They open with the driver picking up criminals and there's like the extended getaway scene they're very very similar it kind of i don't know maybe takes away a little bit from drive and what uh nicholas winding ruffin does there it's kind of like it's good but it's like okay you're kind of you kind of copied this movie maybe a little too much but they're they're different enough too i can, I can give them that the one thing that drive does amazingly well is it has great great music and it has an amazing score that's one of the first things that we notice in that opening scene in Drive with Ryan Gosling driving these guys around. It is um, set to music, and it's set like perfectly. It's just synced up so well. It makes that opening scene great. And here, in this movie, The Driver, we don't have much music at all, really. And especially that scene is very different. There's no music. And uh, that was the biggest thing that I noticed. Even if these characters are similar, some of the scenes are similar, the music in Drive is amazing, and here in The Driver, there's very, very minimal music, um, if at all. So I think that's one thing that Winding Nicholas Winding Refn did um, extremely well and added music to the scenes and stuff like that. Um, some other movies that I got a feel of were like Heat. So I think the kind of the connection with the detective and the driver, kind of battling it out and having this kind of will of professions, like they're on opposite ends. Very, very similar to me from what Michael Mann did in Heat with De Niro and Pacino being one a detective, one a master, cr master criminal type of thing. Uh, kind of very, very similar situation going on here, which I liked. And then another one, just another, um, I think another Michael Mann movie, uh, Thief with James Caan. I just got a little bit of that feeling uh, visually. And again, we're dealing with criminals in the underworld. Uh, a professional that does their job really well, like a driver here and thief. He's a professional thief, burglar. But um, then they also kind of have a similar visual style. Uh, thief's like late 80s. I mean, um, very, very early 80s, maybe even late 70s. And this is 78, so they look similar too. So I think those are some really good connections. Thief, Heat, um, Baby Driver, and Drive, of course. So, yeah, um like the movie overall definitely recommend um if you liked any of those movies the driving movies particularly you have to see this it's so influential on those so um i'm glad to see also um finally saw a ryan o'neill movie an early bruce stern performance and another walter hill movie down so i like him um i liked it i'm gonna give it a i'm gonna give it a 3.75 out of 5 um very very good um definitely liked it so yeah that'll be it